How's it everybody, Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are taking on the Red Zone Super Boo with one of my favorite easy ATURs from this past year, and that is the STR Super Vegeta. So we're gonna test him out here because the Super Boo fight's kind of a short fight, so I feel like we can get some good use out of him here, despite the fact that the second phase is tight disadvantage for him. I could work, could not. This is going to be kind of a test of that, so. Um, I mean, it's kind of good, I guess, the setup here, because we can keep everybody linked up. There's no, I mean, obviously we would prefer to have an attack in slot one that we can take to get the damage, but, I mean, this will work. So, we're going to go ahead and grab that with the Super Vegeta, and I guess we'll save that so we can try to get the AGL spheres with King Vegeta on the next rotation. I mean, in the ideal, we want to get a turn against AGL Boo. It's the same way we did against Omega, where we have Super Vegeta, Tech Vegeta, and um, King Vegeta all in one rotation for that active skill turn. So if we can pull that off, then great. That's kind of what we want. But, you know, nothing's ever perfect, right? There we go, perfect, and we eat a super, okay. <clears throat> 260k, alright, not bad. Yeah, obviously we would have preferred him to take a normal hit first before that super, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, that actually kind of helps us. If we can kind of maintain this health, then we'll be able to transform uh, STR Super Vegito. Uh, we, we did bring them, just kind of a little reassurance for where the super attacks are going to be in case we need them. I will protect Earth. Alrighty, so we did bring along STR Gohan. I'm really thinking he's really bad for this fight. Um, unless you can stall out this until his domain activates. But otherwise, like, this is not a good fight for him. I'm beginning to realize um, that AoE super is just too devastating for him. And you know what? I mean, that's okay. It just, I mean, for future runs, I'm probably just not going to put him on the team in that case. Um, but, you know, I... If things work out the way I think they're going to, it's not really going to matter. Like, he's not going to end up taking that super, so, I mean, I'm not too worried. What I am concerned about here is making sure both King Vegeta and... Really? Okay. Okay, we're going to have to sacrifice some orbs for King Vegeta in order to get, make sure Birdku gets his 18 key. We really do need that 18 key. Um, the boo here hits kind of hard. <laughs> um... Not quite as hard as Zamas, but still hard enough that he can get Birdku some trouble. Um, but that's alright. There we go. A little bit better than uh, Zamas for him, because, you know, he's not type disadvantage here. Alright, perfect. So now, alright, so that means the super is either on Birdku or on King Vegeta. That's not good. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like King Vegeta is probably all right. Birdku, we do not want taking a super. Not yet, at least. Okay, so... Okay. All right, so then it's probably on King Vegeta, then. There we go. All right, we get a double super. Okay, maybe we're all right. Oh, never mind. I guess he's not super in this turn. Okay. <laughs> well, all right, then. Okay, so now we can actually, yeah, I think, let's just do this, let's, just in case he decides to super frame one, which he very well might, since he didn't super last turn, so, unfortunately it does mean foregoing, getting that attack buff on Vegeta, super Vegeta that is, uh, but that, I mean, that's fine, the, the, the attack buff we're concerned about is getting it in the AGL phase, so if we don't get it here, it's really not that big of a deal. Plus, it'll probably give us some time to let uh, Goku and Vegeta get a couple stacks in. There we go.
Beautiful. Alright, nice. <laughs> There's that three dodge proccin. Okay, so... Ideally... Yeah, okay, so now we just need to survive this next turn. There we go. Okay, perfect. So... Let's see here. Um, okay, let's grab that with Vegeta. We'll grab that with Gohan. And then we'll grab that with Perku. So ideally, Vegeta will get... Never mind. <laughs> Just gonna say, Vegeta will get some build in, and then we can revive with Birdku, but no, we're just gonna die straight away. Yeah, so you see, that's how powerful that AoE is for Gohan. Like, yeah, I'm thinking he's not good for this fight. Sorry, everyone. It's all because of me. Alright, actually, you know what? This kind of worked out for us, because now we could do some fun things. So let's start by transforming Vegeta. You need more than calculations to understand us safe. Alrighty, excellent. Okay, now let's pop Super Vegeta. Looks like I'm a little too much for you to handle now, aren't I? I am Super Vegeta! Alright, now let's watch my favorite rotation and the game get to work. So, huge risk here. If he AoE supers, we probably die. But if he doesn't, then this is going to be a really, really fun rotation. Unfortunately, though, King Vegeta's probably gonna get us killed, but I have faith. I have some faith. There we go. Look at that double digits on that active skill turn. Love it. Okay. Oh, jeez. 40 million? Are you serious? The 25 million cra Oh, okay. We're just gonna do it again. <laughs> yes. I love this. Jesus. <laughs> okay. And now Vegeta gets to pop off. There we go. And remember, his attack is based on how low the enemy HP is. So he's about to launch a whole bunch of extra supers. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Wow. Do you see why this is the fa my favorite rotation in the game? Hands down. Okay. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku rotation is fun. The Trunks, ro Super Trunks rotation is kind of fun. But this one, like, when you pull off that Super Vegeta active and you get that 40 to 50 million, depending on the setup, it's crazy, as you can see here. And then you follow up whatever's left over with Tech Vegeta. My goodness. Wow. So, I mean, as we all know, Super Vegeta, good for short fights really good for short fights um especially fights like this like and again this this fight is on i i put it on the level of fusions and moss slightly fairer right but even then we know super vegeta wrecks fusions and moss too like i just i love running this he's not as bad as people say um honestly i think people give him too much for for not being something they're expecting him to be i i don't know but guys I think he's good. I think he's great. Um, so, guys, that's it for the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know what are your thoughts on Super Vegeta and who else would you like to see us take down against the Red Zone Super Boo? Let us know in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching and aloha.